I mean, when we first read the script, it was just hilarious. I yeah. mean, that is a very rare occurrence where, like, the actual script itself is just ridiculously funny. Yeah, it was just really funny. That It was as simple as that. The characters, and, like, to say something's funny means that many things must be working well, but <laughs> the characters were good, the story was good, the plot was good. And, and, and then, I mean, and then yeah. in the end, you cry. Yeah, and it was like, very... there's a it, third act turn that... Straight up, yeah. Cry. There was like a, a, yeah, it was like very emotional, um, which are the exact things that we're looking for, yeah. A lot of the time, as producers on films, like we have to help bring the heart. Sometimes people have it like kind of funny, and they don't have a good balance. And that was one of the nice things about Teresa and Cherry. Like they, they just they could actually do it. They could bring both to the table and like had a pretty good balance. Yeah, and from the very beginning, yeah, the the idea like. Fundamentally, was both funny and emotionally resonant. So, uh, which, yeah, it's like it's it's hard to do that, and we just know that like that contrast works very well, and that like balance works very well, and you can make things a lot filthier if you also are like anchored in some emotional place often. I think it's really difficult for actors to both balance the comedy and the emotion. And really, that's when it comes down to Adele, the director. Like, you know, like watching the footage, like they'll say something and be like, was that good? Was that too crazy? Should I do it again? And she ultimately was the one who was the barometer that knew when they were going too far and knew how to push them in the right direction. Casting a film like this is like the key thing in a lot of ways, you know, and finding four people who work well together and who are funny and can carry the emotional weight of the the story and stay grounded and navigate the tone. Um, that's yeah, and, then, like, and then you have to have them like balanced together. You can't have one person overpowering the other. So there's like a real synergy they have to like find amongst themselves. But I think Ashley, you know, as the main character kind of like grounded everything. And, and by no means does that mean she's not one of the funniest. They're all incredibly funny, but she was the one with like the core story who kind of like grounded you in reality. Yeah. But a great, I think like a great comedy ensemble like people kind of take turns being like the straight man and the crazy one and the you know, the wild one and the one who's trying to control things and the one who is out of control and they do that very well like they they pass off that baton well and they're all believable as the people who are like elevating the situations and the people who are trying to like control the situations which um is important you know Sabrina is so funny, and the performance is like a really hard needle to thread. Yeah, and that you meet the character and you think, yeah, it almost feels like like the McLovin of the group a little bit. It's like the wacky, weird one who maybe is like existing in an emotional place that is not quite as grounded or resonant as the yeah, rest of the which, characters. Which It's essentially just about like what is home to you and like yeah. who is your family. Yeah, knowing who you are, feeling like you belong, knowing where you came from. I think all those themes are like very prevalent and, and resonant in the movie, yeah. And there's the laughs and then there's the big emotional kind of turn at the end. Yeah, and people that, really that cry. Really, yeah. <laughs> I think people are just like so, their guard has been dropped so much by how many times they've laughed that when the emotional turn hits, they're, they're floored. And you get some tears in that theater. Yeah. I think, yeah, like, it has such, like, basic relatable ideas that I think almost anybody will find something in the movie that... And, and like, I never like to be too directive with it. There's so much that you could relate to in the movie. If you so, don't relate to something, there's something wrong. Exactly. <laughs> you have a part of you missing. But if there's something wrong with you, you'll probably relate to one of the characters in the movie because there's something wrong with all of them, too. We love making like surprisingly emotional but extremely funny films that are raunchy and then that raunch maybe makes you cry a little in the end and then laugh a little more. Yeah, exactly. I think like there's not a lot of people who even seem that interested in trying to make big comedic R-rated movies that really destroy in a theater and, and, and stand the test of time hopefully and have something in them in like uh, an emotional way that resonates for years and years and years to come. and. And, and it's something, yeah, that we genuinely love doing and that we've been more good at than bad at over the years. So yeah, we'll keep trying.